we see investment opportunities um, in various areas, but I would restrict myself to three particular ones, particularly within <coughs> also uh, a regional market, the ECOWAS context, you know, which uh, the heads of states, you know, have, have mentioned. I think it's very important to have bear that in mind. Uh, Ghana is known for its natural resources, uh, minerals, and then uh, <coughs> agriculture, particularly cocoa, and lately for oil and gas. So these have uh, enormous potential. But I think the sector which has actually shown the fastest growth in Ghana, which constitutes also 50% of our gross domestic product, is actually the services sector. And therefore, <coughs> um, I would say that for investors who are interested in the value chain, uh, we have the oil and gas sector uh, from downstream, midstream to upstream because of the potential for petrochemical, you know, as well as, you know, for uh, oil and gas services within a West African and African, you know, context. Uh, we do also have the ongoing um, potential in agriculture, particularly agro-processing with an export orientation. And I would say, as I just mentioned, there is a lot for the services sector, the financial services, you know, where there has been significant investment recently. I think it's interesting to note that private capital has been flowing into Ghana and West Africa and Africa for that matter, uh, following what others have called a renaissance. And in the case of Ghana, you know, over the last, I believe, uh, six to eight years, we have seen private capital flowing in excess of six billion US dollars, particularly into the oil and gas sector, for which no sovereign guarantee, you know, was issued. And this is private risk capital. Much of the exploration, uh, which was started by Cosmos Tulo and partners, including our own, you know, company, Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, were all private investments you know, without any, you know, uh, and so this is the result of also the incentives, both tax and investment incentives that we have. But I'll pause at this stage and then uh, take questions as and when required. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.